So we're getting even more Harry Potter Wizarding World video game content, which is really exciting. This one is Quidditch related. So if you guys, you know, were paying attention to Hogwarts Legacy, I know a lot of you played the game. I played it, I loved it. I still wanna go back, bring you guys some kind of side mission content, um, you know, for fun with our, with our playthrough. Uh, but the one thing that was missing, we had the Quidditch arena, but we didn't have Quidditch. And they, they, I gotta give them credit, okay? The folks over at Avalanche, Avalanche, they wrote it in a way that made sense, okay? It was all Phineas Black and, you know, his whole thing was just like, you know, he, he was kind of a, a hard uh, headmaster um, and he was like, no, no Quidditch this year. Uh, and so there was that. And it made sense with the story. But a lot of people that, you know, have loved the Harry Potter uh, books and movies, they, we wanted we wanted to see Quidditch, right? And a lot of us were thinking, hey, are they gonna add it as maybe like a DLC, an expansion or something? Uh, this is actually not the case. We are getting a Quidditch game, standalone game. But the weird thing is it's not by Avalanche. I guess maybe Avalanche is maybe, maybe gonna be focusing on some more Hogwarts Legacy content, either a second game or DLC. That's not official, by the way. That's just my speculation. I sure hope they do because, I mean, It'd be crazy not to because Hogwarts Legacy sold so very good. But what I am talking about is a brand new studio. Well, not a brand brand new studio, but they're they're pretty they're pretty new, uh, and they're called Unbroken Studios. Okay, Unbroken Studios, and they're going to be working on this brand new Quidditch game. Before I show you guys what you know is going on with this Quidditch game, and we go through all of that. Let me first show you guys what you can expect. Uh, well, first of all, this is Warner Brothers, by the way, okay? Obviously, this is being published by Warner Brothers, but it's being developed by Unbroken uh, Studios. Uh, and again, like I said, Unbroken Studios, I'm not extremely familiar with them. Uh, apparently, they joined Twitter on March 2018. So again, they're still you know fairly fresh. Um, but let me show you guys what games they've either worked on or are working on. One of them is very interesting in particular. So you can see uh, with the picture up on screen right now, 2015, they worked on a game called Fantastic Plastic Squad, which was a self-published mobile free-to-play multiplayer shooter. Um, in 2018, they, they published a game kind of looks like Borderlands uh, art style uh, called Fractured Lands. It was self-published um, on PC, 100 person battle royale. Uh, they're interestingly enough working with uh, Rocksteady on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which I, had, I didn't get to make a video on, but that has been delayed until 2024, which is a massive delay. Uh, so they're, they're co-developing it apparently uh, is what uh, it says on their website. And then finally, they're gonna be making Harry Potter Quidditch Champions, which is going to be an online multiplayer team sports game. So it's all online multiplayer. I, I don't know if you could play local. I, I, I was saying before that, hey, you know, with uh, Quidditch, you know, if they had a Quidditch DLC for Hogwarts Legacy, what would have been cool is if, you know, it was online, but it was kind of like EA Sports style, right? Where it's like you could play offline. There was just, it was just a sports game. Uh, so it seems like they're going in that direction. This is what Unbroken Studios said about the game. Okay, I'll throw it on the screen right now so you guys can see the tweet. They said, Unbroken Studios is very proud to announce Harry Potter Quidditch Champions, a multiplayer team competitive Quidditch game in active development. We're working with, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, Warner Brothers to publish and support limited play tests at quidditchchampions.wbgames.com. So you can sign up now to hopefully, if you're fortunate enough, <laughs> to get into uh, this play test. I signed up as soon as I seen it, uh, hopefully, uh, we're able to get into this. I don't know, obviously with play tests, you're probably not gonna be able to share content. So, you know, even if I do get into it, there might be some NDA stuff that says, hey, you're not, you're not allowed to share it. Again, I don't know if I will get into it. <clears throat> Excuse me, whenever, whenever it comes to play tests, I never seem to get into them. I get into like alphas and betas sometimes, uh, but specifically play tests. I don't know, man, I, I can't get into any of them. I've signed up for like a bunch of them before. So who knows, we'll see. Either way, to be part of the play testing, usually you know you have to sign kind of some some kind of NDA, and then it's, at that point um, you're part of helping develop right the game. Not that you're a developer, but you're kind of you know giving your feedback on the game as it progresses, and uh, you know giving your suggestions and what you think, and if you find any bugs and everything like that. Most most of the time, that's kind of how it works. Uh, <clears throat> so very interesting, <clears throat> excuse me to say the very least, because again. 
And this is, uh, again, they're saying it's a multi, on their website, they're saying online multiplayer. Uh, <clears throat> in the tweet, they said, they didn't say online specifically. They just said a multiplayer team competitive Quidditch game in active de uh, development. So again, I'm really hoping it's sort of like EA sports style where, you know, I've, I mean, I play a lot of NHL. I don't play a lot of other sports games, you know, I've seen them, but I'm hoping it's like that style, you know, maybe NBA or NHL or, or Madden. This that format uh, <clears throat> where you have some offline game modes, we also have some online game modes, and and I don't know if they if they do this right, it could be very very good. Uh, but the question is, uh, are they going to be able to execute it well? I hope so. Uh, like I said, I don't know much about this studio, but obviously Warner Brothers put a lot of faith in Avalanche to you know to um, um, produce Hogwarts Legacy, and that was a massive hit. People absolutely loved it, and I think they've seen that right they i don't know how long you know um this quidditch game has been in development is it something they just started recently is it something that's been in the works for a while now and they just they're just announcing it now is it something that you know again they're just kind of starting off of you know the success of hogwarts legacy and they're like okay warner brothers seeing you know we can we can maybe do more with this world right um let's let's even get more done with this world Again, I don't know if it was a prior decision or a reaction to the, the success of Hogwarts Legacy. That said, I'm very excited. Uh, I hope they do it well. Again, we who knows when this game comes out because it's in active development. It's probably early. Uh, we probably won't see it for a couple of years, honestly. Realistically, I don't think we're going to see it, obviously, this year. Definitely not if they're just playtesting it. We're not going to see... I don't think we're going to see it next year either. I think it's probably going to be a 2025 game, most likely. Um... Yeah, that's my guess. I could be wrong, but I think 2025 is probably when the game's going to come out. So uh, anyways, wanted to let you guys know about this because I thought this was really, really exciting stuff. Uh, obviously, I like to keep you guys updated with the newest in the gaming world, you know, gaming news. Uh, I like to do a little bit of both. We talk about the games in this kind of sense, you know, discuss, you know, the latest news and th things like that. And then we also play the games. So I don't know if that's too much variety. I who knows, but I enjoy doing it and you guys can let me know in the comments if you think it works all together on this channel or if you think, uh, if you specifically watch my content for one thing or the other. But uh, what do you think? Quidditch, Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. What do you want to see from it? Again, you know, you can go follow Unbroken Studios on Twitter. You can, you know, kind of give your thoughts and suggestions. Maybe they'll consider what the community's saying. Uh, you know, with Hogwarts Legacy, they seem to be very community oriented. So maybe likewise with this game. Uh, but always be constructive in everything you do, right? Just be kind and respectful with your tone. Uh, you can be, you know, you can critique and be criticizing, uh, but do so in a way that's, that's constructive, that helps them. Because if it's not, it's pointless and you're just going to be ignored. Keep that in mind. Uh, so let me know what you guys hope to see from this. And uh, yeah, for everything else gaming, stick around on the channel. Tell them my friends. Game on. Thanks for watching.